So you just bought your all your Samsung Galaxy S21 series device and well the device is great and One UI 3.0 looks amazing as always but how do you make the most out of your device well in today's video i'll be talking about seven of the best apps that you should install on your Galaxy S21 series device to really really enhance the overall experience so without wasting any more time this is one from guiding tech and let's get started Okay, first up, we have Creative, which is a complete app for full-fledged customization and a community for like-minded users. Here, you can find thousands of wallpapers, ringtones, and home screens shared by other users. You can also share your own content and download other users' content too. Comment, quote, or like the content you like the most. Everything here is available for free, and you can also get good ideas for customizing your home screen setups. Moving on, we have Notepin, which works on a very, very simple concept, but is a massive productivity booster. The idea here is that Notepin basically pins your important notes into the notification bar. As such, each time you open the notification bar, you'll be reminded of the task or whatever you noted down. You can even customize your notes based on their priority, basically high, medium, or low, and each note will even show the assigned priority next to it. Next up, we all need an application to chat with our friends and while WhatsApp was the go-to option for that, it is, well, not that secure. So how about giving Signal a try? Signal Private Messenger comes from the house of Open Source Systems, the company that powers the end-to-end -end encryption technology in most of the messengers out there. The Signal app offers self-destructing messages, screen security that prevents anyone from taking screenshots and much more. Your backups, calls, and every other data in the app, including the files that you send using Signal, are encrypted. We also have another video talking about how you can set up Signal as a first-time user to make it feel just like WhatsApp, only, you know, a bit better. So make sure to check that video out as well. Next up, we have TypeWise. See, you might enjoy Google Keyboard or Swift Key or Samsung Keyboard, but once you try TypeWise, it's genuinely that good. Typewise is a keyboard made for 200 usage, but trust me, before you think of it as a deal breaker, the features here will definitely appeal to you. You get larger keys that are easy to access and tons of actions can be customized with the help of swipes. You can use swipes to delete text, undo text, capitalize text, open emojis and whatnot. The app does not even take any permission, so even your privacy is secured. Of course, if you still like Google Keyboard or its arch rival Swift Key, we have a couple of videos talking about the best tips and tricks for both of them, so make sure to check them out as well. Now, the entire lineup of the S21 series comes with some amazing cameras, and as you would expect, they all support photography in RAW mode as well. Now, obviously, RAW mode is for professionals, but you also need a professional standard photo editing tool for the same. Well, that's where Snapseed comes in. The app gives desktop grade photo editors a run for their money with a huge range of features and an intuitive interface that it packs. It comes with all of the classic tools such as cropping, straightening, frames, text, vignettes, etc. There's also a selective adjust tool that lets you select a specific area of your photo and adjust the saturation, contrast and brightness of that single point. Honestly, this is the complete solution for beginners and advanced users alike. Okay, so my choice of a custom launcher has always and always been Nova Launcher, but I understand that it can get quite monotonous for a lot of you guys out there. So if you really want a unique home screen experience, how about giving All-in-One Launcher a shot? The All-in-One Launcher is all about showing everything possible on the home screen. You can find frequently used apps, notifications, time, weather, date, alarms, timers, mails, calendar events, Google feed, even your Twitter feed and whatnot. There are also quick actions like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Now to find your installed apps, you can swipe from the left or you can even search for them. And that's not all. We have a full video talking about some of the most unique Android launchers out there. So make sure to check that out from the link below as well. Next up, the S21 comes with Google Messages as its default SMS client. While that's good, if you really want a great organizer app for your SMS, well, just get the one from Microsoft. Microsoft's SMS organizer helps you organize all your incoming messages to make your inbox clutter-free. The app categorizes all these messages using machine learning and sorts them into separate tabs. Basically, personal messages, transactional updates, and all promotional spam. And the best part here is that the app does not notify you of these spam messages, so you can be sure that you won't be distracted by all the notifications when you're trying to work. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down there in the description box. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Warren from Guiding Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.